nuclear explosions. Has anybody had a dream about nuclear, nuclear explosions? I haven't, but Ethan's had several. Yes, yeah. our son had. And actually, it was to do with something. Uh, he was in the house of uh, a friend when he saw a nuclear explosion. But it was interesting because he said it was a blue nuclear explosion yeah. that he saw in the distance. And I think he was, and, and very soon after that, his relationship in this friendship, which I think was actually um, a not a good relationship, and it was going to stop him from moving into the things God wanted him to move into. And so um, it was a sense that God was changing things in his life so that he wouldn't end up um, going down the wrong road. So, and it was interesting that he was in this friend of his house when this new he saw this nuclear explosion mm. and actually very soon afterwards things um he, they parted ways and so a nuclear explosion is probably the end of the thing because a nuclear explosion will in exact it will it will destroy a thing yeah yeah you know yeah that's right so it, it often talks about quite a drastic change doesn't it yeah and, and you think about explosions we often say oh I'm, like if there's a big argument you would say oh, wow that really blew up didn't it yeah you know, that's like the kind of freight freight we use so yeah. Um, yeah and the nuclear explosion is, is sort of the biggest uh, I often think as well he was quite he was he was younger and he's in his mid-teens when he had these mm. dreams and I've, I've noticed with Sophie as well that kids can often have quite dramatic dreams it's just part of being emotional and young and create more creative and perhaps less measured than than adults so the kids often have like quite um, like uh, dramatic dreams, you, you know what I mean? And detailed, so if you'll go on for ages with her dreams. <laughs> then I dreamt this thing, and I dreamt that thing, then oh, I dreamt I was like, oh, but he just got this one done. Yeah. And so I try, and I try and write their dreams down because they are quite important. Um, so it's um, it's good to um, steward your kids' dreams as well. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's like a warning dream. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it, it is, in a sense, a warning mm -hmm. dream like this thing's going to change or something is going to happen here that's going to change this situation yeah it's a warning of a, of a, a change and a big change and if it, you can't relate it to anything in your life that you know about then um, it's a sign that something's coming um, but I always have a sense in those that if you're seeing something that you're being warned about God already knows about it, yeah. and so He's already made a way for you. Yeah. Otherwise, He wouldn't be telling you if you see if you see what and I mean. And you can always change the the course of a thing. Um, if if it's a nuclear explosion that God wants, to, uh, Ethan saw blue light with it, so it was a sense that it was. Um, God was actually bringing a change in this. Blue often speaks of um, a light blue. We'll often speak of a communion. If you look up to the sky, it's that color yeah. of, of looking up to the heavens and seeing something and a communion with God. Um, so in, in this sense, I feel that it was a seeing into something that God was planning for him.